Okay guys, now is going to be the moment of truth. I had a lot of guys requesting that I get this video out. This is the Hoppies number 9 versus Ballastol. Now this is my 590A1 barrel and this is after about a week ago when I tried to clean it as good as I could with Ballastol. I worked on it for about 20 minutes. I used a brass brush, I used patches, and I used probably a quarter of a can of Ballastol, uh, if not more, trying to get this barrel clean. And as you can see, there's a lot of crud in there. I'll flip the barrel around and let you see it from the muzzle end down. I've got a flashlight under the barrel now. I'm going to attempt to show you how much debris is in this barrel. We're looking from the muzzle end toward the chamber, and you can see how much stuff was left after all that time I took with the Ballastol. That's why I wanted to transition over to Hoppy's number 9 and see what we can get done. So this is very important that you take note of what this barrel looks like because this is what we're going to use to compare after I get done cleaning. Crack into the Hoppy's. Fresh brand new 16 ounce bottle. Ahead and break the seal here. Ooh, I love that smell. That smell just brings me back. <laughs> so here's the first thing we're going to do, guys. I'm going to take you through this step-by-step -step with what I'm doing um, so that you know the exact process that I'm using and hopefully we'll get this barrel cleaner than what it is, cleaned the way I want it. So what I'm going to do right now is this is a bore mop. I'm going to put Hoppy's number 9 on this bore mop, saturate it, so that I can put it through the barrel and get the barrel wet with the product. And then I'm going to let that sit for a while and then I'm going to take a brass brush through the barrel about 10 passes I'm going to let that sit and then we're going to come back with a bore snake for the final and then we're going to look at that barrel and see if it made any difference so let's go ahead and get this saturated here Probably got a little bit too much on there, but that's okay. Just gonna run it through from chamber end to bore end. And once again, from chamber to bore end. Now I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, it's been close to 10 minutes probably here. Maybe not even that. Uh, here's the original ballastol that I used about two weeks ago and there's not very much left in this can so you're gonna have to take my word for it. I did clean the barrel with this as good as I could uh, before I showed you the pictures without it being fired again. So you're going to take my word for that. So now I've switched over to the Hoppies number 9. I've mopped the bore and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit on this brass brush and I'm going to run this brush through 10 passes through the bore. Just going to get this just a little bit wet. Now this brush is good to go. I just want it to be a little bit wet there when it goes through. Get this out of the way. And what we're going to do is take it all the way through. Let it go completely out of the end before you reverse it. It's okay to reverse it after it comes out. You just don't want to reverse it before that happens. So it's completely out. Now we're going to reverse it and pull it back through. That's one, two. Hey guys, just six passes so far right now and I just wanted to show you. Look at all the crud already that I can see on the end of this rod. You guys see all that? It's 
It's got all kinds of black all over it. A piece of black came out of the back of the gun when I was doing this. Uh, there's black up here on that towel. So four more passes and we'll take a look down this barrel. And 10. So there it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the boar snake through the boar. I had a lot of black stuff come out of this, so I'm feeling really good right now. Here's what the bronze brush looks like. It wasn't brand new, so keep that in mind, but there's a lot more black. See even on my hands here from pulling the rod out, all the crud that came out. I'm very, very happy and impressed, and I think this is gonna do a great job. Let me get the boar snake out, guys, and then I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, now what it's time to do is the final step. I'm gonna pour a little bit of Hoppy's 9 on this boar snake. It's brand brand new boar snake. <laughs> it sure ain't gonna look like this for long. <laughs> I don't know why they make it white. I'm not going to go crazy with it. Just a little bit to, uh, before I put this through the bore. A lot of guys have said that this stuff deteriorates bore snakes faster uh, than other cleaners, but, you know, we'll have to see on that, and I'll have to get back with you and let you know. So here we go. We're going to drop the weighted end down toward the muzzle. this and guide it in here. <laughs> I really do not want this to snap off in the barrel. Wow, that's tight. Oh, we're going to do two passes with this good old boar snake. Right now we're going to look and see how much crud we got on there. Uh, I do see a lot of black, but it's not excessive. You could, oh yeah, there it is. It's not extremely excessive, but... I'm hoping it does the trick. Okay, one more pass with the boar snake, and then we're just gonna look right down the barrel and see what we got, and go from there. You want it to be tight, because that's what's going to really swab the bore. There we go. So let's go ahead and check that bore snake out. It does have black on it. Um, as you can see, I caught it up on the receiver in there. No big deal. It'll still work fine. But just, you know, I made the mistake. So now you know when you get yours. <laughs> now you know what not to do. So let's go ahead and take a flashlight right here live, and let's see what happened. Hopefully I can get this good on camera for you. I really can't see what I'm looking at here. Okay, let's look from the other end. I'm going to take a look myself. Woo, that looks nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I am a happy camper. Oh, it, it did the trick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This did this did exactly how I wanted this barrel to look. This did it. That is just that is awesome, guys. I'm very happy. Let me get another angle. I really want to make sure you see down that barrel. So I'm going to pull this chair over in front of the camera and I'm going to set the flashlight on the chair and get a better angle to show you down this barrel so I can make sure you're seeing a good shot. Guys, I'm very happy with this. Look at that. I have to say, I, I, I am so impressed. I'm more impressed than even what I thought I was going to be. Check that out. Oh yeah. My test bed against frog lube. This time we're going to use a handgun, one of my favorite Glocks. This is my Larry Vickers G17 Surefire X300 Ultra, Terran Tactical, base plate, plus six. So you get a total of 24 rounds in this gun if you put one in the chamber. And this is what we're going to test the hoppies on. I did clear it before the camera was on. Guys, the only thing I didn't mention about the shotgun barrel is that I will have to go through this with a patch of oil. 
You could leave it sit with the hoppies in there. It's just that the hoppies isn't a protectant or an all-in-one. The hoppies is strictly a solvent. So just for the fact of this sitting, I'm going to put a patch of oil through the barrel and then it's done. Guys, I'm so impressed with what it did to this barrel. I looked at it off camera. Unbelievable. The inside of this barrel I thought was parkerized gray like the outside here and just up at the very edge of the muzzle it was silver and I was like what's going on inside this barrel is it flaking what couldn't figure it out after using this hoppies number nine and doing a full cleaning with it the whole barrel is now that silver color this just didn't do it I'm sorry but this just did not do it I still think this works good on a lot of things and there's a lot of stuff you can use this on as far as your firearms are concerned but when it comes to this barrel I now have this barrel the way I wanted it and if I wasn't on camera how much quicker would that have been uh, than the 20 minutes I spent with this trying to clean it out. Okay so this barrel had been treated with frog lube uh, since the last time it was fired. Uh, this whole gun had been treated with frog lube previously so since the last time it was fired what I did was I just put frog lube on a patch and cleaned the barrel out using frog lube only and which uh, debris and things did come out now the only regret I have about using Hoppies 9 is the pile of semi wet black what looked like coal that was on my carpet that I had a hard time getting up it was just to the point where if you tried to squeeze it it would just it would just smash into a black piece but it was chunks of black on my carpeting so just be careful when you use Hoppies number nine because it it's it's potent like that and I didn't even realize it was going to come out on the floor so here's the Glock barrel I'm gonna to try to get you a good shot down this barrel okay guys this Glock barrel is not that bad so what I'm gonna to have to do to test it is I'm going to treat it with Hoppies nine and let it sit for a little bit and I'm gonna run a white patch through there and to see if we get any extra debris out of there so it's not bad right now as it sits we'll see if we can get anything else out of this barrel alright guys so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and dip this down in the hoppies a little bit just you would just wanna make sure if you do that that it's something brand new and clean uh, I don't wanna I, I would just wish there was an easier way to dispense this and there's just not really so what I'm gonna do is do that and then I'm gonna pull this through the Glock barrel. Uh, this is just to get the barrel a pre-soak so it can sit for 10 minutes before I use a brass brush on it. So we're just gonna pull this through. Wow, look at how much black came out already, guys. That is insane. Look at that. We're going to go through one more time. Even more black came out. So this barrel's nice and wet. So I'm just going to let this uh, sit now for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to come back with a brass brush, run it through there a few times. And then we'll run a patch through and see what we can get out of it. All right, guys, the barrel's been sitting for probably about seven minutes now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this brass brush through probably about seven times and here is number seven okay well I got some I can already see that some stuff came out right there on my hand just from what was coming out of the barrel just from the extra liquid that was coming out of the barrel, so that's a good sign. So now we'll put on the jag and we'll take the patch through and see what we get out of it. Alright guys, let's do this. Here's the clean patch. See if we get any crud out of here. So remember, this was previously cleaned with frog lube. Patch isn't the tightest in there, but oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check that out. What do you think about that? So I'm gonna have to clean this barrel right now with this. And this barrel had not been shot from since this gun was clean. 
with frog lube. Awesome. All I'll have to do after I finish cleaning this barrel is I will have to run a dab of oil in there. Give you a shot down the barrel again. Yeah, she's a shiny one, eh? <laughs> hey guys, stay tuned. Let me know if you want to see this. I know back in the day, one of my biggest pet peeves was burn rings on the cylinder of a revolver. I'm gonna show you a way that I can get burn rings off of a 500 Magnum revolver in less than five minutes and you will never even know that the gun was fired. Now if I can do it on a 500 Magnum, you can do it on anything that you have. The 500 Magnum has more power, force, heat, just everything you could think of coming out of that gun when it's fired than anything smaller than itself. So if you want to know how to get those burn rings off like they never existed, like the gun's brand new from factory, uh, let me know down below and I'll do a, a whole video on that subject. And this is going to save you if, you, if you have revolvers, this is going to save you the biggest headache that you could ever imagine. And it's going to be the easiest thing that you could ever imagine. It was easier than when I just cleaned this Glock barrel. I guarantee it. So that'll be up next uh, in my next video as long as I have people that want to see it. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like stuff like this, let me know, and maybe I'll get together some more ideas and we'll test some other stuff. But as for now, this is the king. That's, that, that's all I got to say about that. All right, guys, until next time, this is H4T. Got some clean barrels on the table, <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs>